And there we go, full time from Goodison Park, and it has ended Everton nil, Manchester United 3. I'm just going to go shut the door. But yeah, um, a, a decent game, I would say. Um, United with a big, big win, a win that they probably needed as they've got a massive, well, they've got some big games coming up. They've got Galatasaray on Wednesday, Newcastle next Saturday, and next Thursday, they welcome Richard Pochettino's Chelsea to Old Trafford. Um, but yeah, to be honest, like I said, it's a massive win for United. And like I said, as they got um, Galatasaray on Wednesday, and you know, that's a massive game for United in their, it's a massive game for their Champions League. Oh, what's the word, like? You know, if they lose, they're all but out, to be honest, United. But, you know, Everton, you know, of course, their first game since the 10-point deduction. And literally, literally, if you watch the game, like, when, when the players were walking out, literally the whole stadium, of the whole stadium just had, like, because obviously some, some, Ever, some Everton fans printed out 38,000 copies of the Premier League badge and, and it just literally had corrupt written under it. And, uh... You know, it, it, they all held it up and they go, they were boo, literally whilst, you know, the Premier League anthem was playing whilst they were shaking hands, you know. And, you know, obviously they protested Everton in the 10th minute when with the same thing again um, in the 10th minute. But yeah, but overall, it was actually a really good, well, it was all, it was an okay game, to be honest. But, oh my God, there's one goal we have to talk about. Alejandro Garnacho, what a goal. And the question is, the question is, who did it better, Garnacho or Rooney? Personally, well, the both goals are completely different. Rooney was marked. Garnacho was unmarked. Joe Hart moved. No, Joe Hart didn't move. Pickford did. Personally, I think Garnacho is a lot better. It's from a, I'll say, it's from a bit of a further distance. And it was just such an incredible goal. I mean, I mean, you know, to jump that high... And, and, you know, to get in that position to do that, just such an incredible goal from Garnacho. The, the goal, the goal of the season so far, probably the goal, probably the best Premier League goal of 2023. Such an incredible goal from Garnacho. Absolutely amazing. But, you know, but after that, but after that goal from Garnacho, Everton created chances. Um, they Everton created chances. You know, there were chances from the likes of um, Calvert Lewin and other Everton players. But the, the the one thing Everton had, the one problem Everton had in the first half, they just couldn't put their chances away. They really couldn't. And uh, Everton, like I said, they just couldn't put their chances away. And uh, that was the one problem they had, to be honest, Everton. But But overall, you know, the first half was not so bad. From Everton, to be honest. But in the second half, it wasn't as good in the first half. Everton, yeah, they did create chances. But I think after United made it 2-0, they just... It just calmed down. And then, and then United just got back into it. Because they got the third from Marshall. Good finish, by the way. And then you know, after that, it was just game over, to be honest. And uh, to be honest, not the result Everton wanted, to be honest. But, you know, their next game is Forest away. Which is, again, another tough game. Forest, I watched them yesterday. 3-2 loss against Brighton. Really good game. It's that's going to be a really tough game for Everton at Forest next week. Uh, but yeah, but overall, overall, a good game. Well, uh, personally, a decent game, I would say. It was all right. But, uh, but yeah, but United get the three points. They win 3-0. Man um, of the match, by the way. I, I'm, I'm going to give it to Kobe Mainu. Manu, Mainu, how you pronounce his name? I thought we had a really good game today in that midfield. So, uh, yeah, anyway, I'll see you in the next video.